welcome back to my channel. Today I want to go through some photos with you that I had from the past because I've just got hold of the new DxO Photolab 6 Elite Edition with the um, extra fancy denoising tool. I've had a play with it, I had 30 days trial I didn't do it every day but I got the 30 days try and it came to an end yesterday so I'm that impressed I've actually gone and bought the full program and it's phenomenal can't believe the outcomes of some of these pictures so we'll go to the computer and I'll talk through some of the photos that were really up on the ISO and it's removed pretty much most if not all of the grain. Let's get into it. So first up, we've got a little rabbit. This was taken on my uh, Canon 7D Mark II with my 100-400 lens. And as you can see, um, it was... I got all my, all my settings wrong, to be fair. 3,200, and it, it didn't need to be that fast. Hence why it's 5.6, which is wide open, but 16,000 ISO. So I know I messed up. Um... But it was still quite a relatively nice picture, so I put it through the the XO, did some editing first, then put it through the denoise tool, and this is what it's come up like. I'm absolutely amazed. So it's cropped, composed, and finished. And look at the difference. Unbelievable. Now I'm no editing wizard, I'm relatively new to this game and um, I do all the basic stuff and a couple of little bits and that's a little bit of geometry, a little bit of uh, fade and stuff but I'm, I'm learning as well but you know 10-15 minutes of playing about with this one it's just awesome. So I've got three more to show you, uh, they're all at the same ISO, all same speed same morning and I've just done exactly the same just gone through the editing process done a few little bits here and there and uh, then also at the end just denoised and these are results so tell us what your thoughts are leave us a comment tell us what you think So, that's the rabbits. Obviously, I've got a few more to show you. Um, I think something like this is just show you the pictures and, and you can tell the difference straight away. I'm not going into any depth or into any details 
there's a lot of people out there doing these videos that are far better than me so I'm just here just to show you of what an amateur wildlife photographer does and these tools are here to help us to get better results because obviously we can't always control the daylight we can't always control everything that's out there so when you do take a nice composition and you do mess up with your settings because sometimes we do it's nice to be able to put them right as quickly and as easy as possible even though the new DxO Elite program itself looks a bit daunting at the beginning but it was very similar to my Canon D D DPP4 that I was using before but this has obviously got far more um, uh, bits on it than that has hence why I've changed so I got relatively used to it quite quickly but I need to do a lot more work on it really uh, and, and, and dig a bit deeper hence why there's no point in me showing you because I couldn't really show you apart from the basic stuff which I think most of you who's watching this already know it's just really to show you that the, the product that DxO has brought out a software with a denoising tool that's probably the best on the market or very close to the best on the market I do believe Topaz have done a new one and that's quite good but um, the only difference it seems to be is when it's done the denoising it's more of a contrasted difference between the DxO and Topaz which you can correct all that anyway so I'll put some more on and we'll see what you think so this one was just a picture of the nature reserve at Lompton Brickcroft in uh, Lancashire when I lived in England and as you can see it was only one two hundred of a second and hundred ISO but the picture was just so wishy-washy it just looked horrendous so put it through DxO and this is the result I got totally different it looks a nice picture so all I used on this was just the basic tools on the editing software but I did use a gradient filter on the skyline and an horizon tool just to level it up a little bit but apart from that it is what it is and it's come out really nice this is a great example this was taken on my 70 to 200 L series lens 1250 speed f2.8 and 500 iron so it's a terrible terrible picture so wishy wishy watchy uh, but there again put it through the basic tools bit of crop and denoised it too and the results are um, unbelievable really just way much more detail it's uh, on the feathers and stuff well I wouldn't say feathers it's all stuff in it but more details it's a great example as well all the highlights on the right are all blown the face um, is all blown on the highlights so I managed to recover all that crop it and then denoise and the results it's just it's just a totally different picture I feel like I've recovered it it's great saved another one the feather details it's just remarkable really I can't believe how much it's recovered the feathers I'll make this uh, the last one obviously this is a coot and the beak and the crown is all burnt out highlights are bad the water is bad what can I say the DxO saves the day I'm well impressed massively impressed listen guys thanks for watching I'll do some more from my um, R6 as well with the RF to 500 lens because obviously there is some ISO bits and bats that I've had to recover as well on that but there's obviously too much to put on one video it'll just bore you to death I mean if you've got to the end of this I'm impressed so thanks for watching and I'll uh, see you next time eh?